Hey guys, welcome back to, to the Family Fudge. In today's video, my daughter Lily and I are going to take you on a house tour. We're gonna to show you all the updates and changes that we've made to the new house. I've made changes in the living room, lots and lots of changes in the kitchen, but most importantly, you're not gonna to wanna to miss the tour of the kids' rooms, the girls' room, the boys' room, and the playroom. Now, I'm gonna be decorating for Christmas very soon, so I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what the house looks like on a normal day-to-day -day basis before Christmas explodes in our house. Are we gonna start making this video now? Yeah, are you ready? Yep. Okay, do you think we should show the girls' room, the boys' room, or the playroom first? Um, the boys' room and then the playroom and I room last. Your room last? Mm -hmm. Cause my room's my favorite. So we're saving the best for last? Mm -hmm. Okay. Knock, knock. All right, so just like our old house, the boys' room is Mickey, Mickey Mouse themed. We love Mickey Mouse, and I just love the way the room turned out. So we're starting right over here on this little wall here. We have lots of little Mickey head stickers. Now these are actually just vinyl. We can totally pull them off and they don't damage the wall. And I found these on Amazon. And then right above those, we have the kids' silhouette pictures. We actually had these made at Disneyland and I love them. This one right here is Baby Griffin. And this one right here is a younger Jackson. So as we come around the corner here, we have this really cool beanbag chair. This is just an awesome comfy place for the boys to sit and chill out. Right above the beanbag chair, I have this really cute letter board. And right now it just says, Be Kind Jackson and Smile Big Griffin. I don't change it super often, but I could. Over on the window wall, I have two picture frames on this side with just some simple Mickey art. And I actually found those on Amazon. And then over the window, I have this little sign from Ross that just says, I love you to the moon and back. And this used to be in their room in our old house. Now you guys can probably tell by the posters on the wall which bed belongs to which boy. Now believe it or not, when we moved into this house, it came partially furnished and the Mickey Mouse bedding was included, which I was super excited about. So I went ahead and just added some extra blankets and pillows. And then both boys have this little Mickey Mouse stuffed toy right on there as well. Now the posters I actually designed on walmart.com, but I have to say it was kind of a pain to get posters made at Walmart, so I don't know that I would recommend it. Now these guys in the middle, we actually had it in the room back at our old house. Right in the center here, instead of adding a little nightstand, I went ahead and added this little cube unit. I got this at Target. And so there's a lot of storage in here for toys and books and things like that. And then right on the top, I have this cute little lamp. Now at the foot of each bed, each of the boys has their own little storage container so they can put toys in there, extra blankets, whatever they want. These are actually meant for storing Christmas decorations, so that's why they're red. And the reason there's not a lot of toys actually in their room is because most of the toys are actually in the playroom. But before we move on to the playroom, I have to show you the closet. Now this isn't a huge closet for two boys to share, but it's, but it's not too bad. On the top shelf, I have some of these crates from Walmart and they hold things like extra blankets and diapers and things like that. And then in this middle section here is our clothes filing system. Now I know I've mentioned this in several videos before and I used to do it a little bit differently when my kids were smaller. These two here are Jackson's and these two on this side are Griffin's. And the idea is that there's one outfit in each section per day. So we have Monday through Friday, and then in the sixth compartment, we put their pajamas. Now, of course, Griffin doesn't wear uniforms, so I just have some everyday clothes in his section. And then down in the bottom here, we have even more storage. This is just a bookshelf from Ikea with the Ikea drawers. These four right here are Jackson's. In this one we have his underwear, and in this one we have his socks. I did go ahead and add these little labels. These are actually clip-on labels that I found at Target, and they're a dry erase board, so you can actually wipe it off. And you can change the label as many times as you want, and then they just clip right on the outside of the bin, just like that. And then right along the bottom, all of these containers have toys. So extra toy storage down there. Now on this wall, I've added lots of Mickey decals. I kind of wanted it to look like wallpaper. And because I knew I would never get these 
perfectly in line. I did go ahead and just put them sort of randomly all over the wall. I think this is a really cute way to add some personality to the wall that is not permanent. Is it time for the playroom? Yeah! Let's go. So leaving the boys' room, we're gonna head down the hall. Welcome to the playroom. So this room actually works out really nicely as the playroom because it doesn't have a closet, so it's not a dedicated bedroom. So this is pretty much where we keep most of the kid toys and the books, and it's just a really fun place for them to come and play and hang out. Over in this corner, we have this really cool teepee, which actually came from Aldi. You know, that's like a grocery store, but sometimes they have some really cool things. Now, believe it or not, for the curtains of this room, I actually repurposed some old bed sheets. That's right, these used to be just a regular flat sheet, and they were the perfect size to use as curtains, so I went ahead and just sewed a pocket on top and we hung it up as curtains. I think they look awesome. Now over on this wall, we have our huge Ikea bookshelf. Now this used to be in our old homeschool room back in our California house, but for right now, it's holding lots of toys, books, and binders. Now you guys know I love Mickey Mouse and all things Disney, but I also love rainbows. So this bookshelf definitely makes me smile every time I look at it. On this top section here, I have some of our collectible popcorn buckets and sippers from Disney World. Then in this last one is where we keep our Grinch costume head. Kind of creepy, but also kind of fun. On this next shelf, I have all of these binders that we used to use for homeschooling, and I just love them so much. They're so fun and colorful that I decided to keep them. In this next row here, I have lots and lots of books, and we have all different kinds of books in here. We have workbooks and readers. We actually donated a lot of our kid books when we came to Florida, so these are just some of our favorites that we hung on to. Next, we have a shelf for toys, lots of different kinds of toys. And then in the very bottom shelf in these bins, we have even more toys. In this one, we have costumes. And in this one, we have a scary snake. Just kidding, you guys. This is one of Jackson's toys. I think we found this at Ikea. Now, I wanted this to be a playroom, but I also wanted it to be sort of a living room for the kids. So there is a nice couch, plenty of seating in here. This is just a futon from Ikea. And to make it extra plush, I found this really furry body pillow at a store called Big Lots. Lily loves this pillow. In fact, sometimes she sneaks it into her room and keeps it on her bed. Now in the corners here, I have two different beanbag chairs. These little areas make the perfect reading nook. And then over here on this wall, we have our entertainment center. On the top, I just have some shelves with extra toy storage. And then down below, I have a TV. And then check it out, you guys. We have our own vintage rotary phone. Now, many of you guys have probably never seen this before, but this is what phones used to look like a long time ago. This is actually an antique I picked up at a garage sale for just $5 and I think it is super fun to play with. Now below the TV, I just have a shelf from Ikea. This is where we keep all of our marshmallow pillows, I think they're called. The kids love these and they are super cute and squishable. And then down here at the bottom, we have extra toy storage. And this is where we keep things like Legos and Lincoln Logs and mag formers and things like that. So little pieces go in here. Over on this side, we have a play kitchen. This is Griffin's and he loves it. And then I also added a little tiny table from Ikea with two little orange seats so the kids can sit here in color or just do different activities. Okay, Miss Lily, did we show them everything in the playroom? Um, I think so. And before we go into the girls' room, I'll quickly show you the guest room. Now when we moved in, we gave the girls the option of sharing the same room or having separate rooms, and the boys as well. And both the girls and the boys decided to share a room. That way we could have a playroom and we could have an extra room for guests. So far we haven't actually had any guests stay at our house, but we will in the next couple of weeks. There's still things I wanna to do to get it ready, but right now, it looks like this. We have this really cute bed. We got this used off of Facebook Marketplace. The bedding is from Amazon. The little tables and lamps are repurposed from other rooms of the house. I definitely wanna fix up this room a little bit more before they come. And before they come, I'm definitely gonna need to clean out the closet because right now I'm using it to store the kids' Disney clothes. So I've really collected a lot of Disney clothes over the years. Some of these are secondhand, some of them are hand-me-downs, but almost all of them are from either Target or Walmart. 
My favorite outfits are definitely the Mickey and Minnie themed outfits, and really the kids could wear these to any of the Disney parks. I also really love the Toy Story outfits. These are perfect for wearing to Hollywood Studios. And of course, I love their Marvel outfits as well. Next, we have some Frozen themed outfits. These are the ones the kids wear when we go to Epcot, especially for going to ride Frozen Ever After, which is one of my favorite rides. I love it. We have some Lion King outfits. The kids wear these when we go to Animal Kingdom. And then the boys also have matching Star Wars and Cars shirts. And the girls have a couple of coordinating Descendants dresses. Come on in! Now in the entryway of the girls' room, just like the boys' room, we also have their silhouettes from Disneyland. These are so cute. I love these. This one is Lily, and of course this one is Mackenzie. So the setup of the girls' room is very similar to the boys' room. I tried to keep it as even as I could, but as you can tell, their room is kind of a weird shape. It's kind of long and narrow with this big window. It almost reminds me of a Manhattan apartment with a wall of windows. Now speaking of the windows, these curtains used to be sheets as well. These are just old flat sheets and I've turned them into curtains. Which one of these beds is yours? That's right. Now on this side we have Miss Lily's bed and over here is of course Mackenzie's. On Lily's side of the wall I went ahead and added lots of these heart decals. These are just like the Mickey Mouse ones in the boys room. And then over on Mackenzie's side of the wall I've hung four unicorn posters. Now it's kind of hard to see these with the glare going on but these are just super cute, super simple and colorful and I found all of these on Amazon. Now between the beds I also have this little bookshelf. It's just like the one in the boys' room. There's lots of toy storage in here. Of course, the girls share this. So some of these are Mackenzie's toys and some of them are Lily's. On the top here, they have this really fun unicorn lamp and they also have their piggy banks. Now, I actually found both of these piggy banks at Big Lots. This is my piggy bank. It's a unicorn. This is Kenzie's piggy bank. It's a rainbow with a crowd. Now, over on this wall, we have one desk that the girls can share. Mostly Mackenzie uses this one, but sometimes Lily does too. This is a good place to do art projects, to read books, or just store your toys. They have a shelf here with lots of their zoom zooms. Over on this wall, I have this really cute unicorn letter board. I actually found this at Big Lots as well. Now moving on to the closet. Now this closet is quite a bit bigger than the boys' closet, but overall this closet setup is very similar to the boys' room. On the top shelf I have some plastic crates from Walmart. In here I have extra warm clothes. And then in this middle section I have our clothes filing system, just like the boys' room. This section right over here belongs to Mackenzie. And then over on this side, these ones are all lilies. So each day they have a different outfit ready to go. And in the sixth square, we keep their jammies. Now, since this closet is a lot bigger, we also have room for a little reading nook with a beanbag chair and a gigantic unicorn. And then over on the other side, we have more toy storage, a laundry basket for dirty clothes, and then this container where we keep lots of notebooks and art supplies. Over in this section of the closet, we keep all of the girls' fancier dresses. And then over on the other side, Mackenzie has her little purses hung up there. These are so cute, I love these. And then we just have a few light jackets. Honestly, we have not had one cold day since we moved to Florida, but just in case, we do have some jackets. Now let's go check out the downstairs. Now since we are in Florida and we're surrounded by beaches, I really love these pictures. I think they're perfect for this house. And I actually found these at Big Lots, believe it or not. Now I did go ahead and chalk paint the coffee table. It was my first time doing it and I was a little bit nervous, but I actually really liked the way it turned out. I definitely think it helps brighten up the space. Another thing I added to this room are new lamps. I found these at Ross and I really like these because of the clear glass on there. This definitely reminds me of sea glass. Then I also added some smaller side tables with storage. Storage was really important in this room. So we have lots of different baskets for keeping remotes, keeping magazines, things like that. And I actually found these at Ross. 
and I think that they tie in really well with the look of the coffee table with all of the baskets under there for storage. And then of course, I also went ahead and chalk painted the TV cabinet. Now this was actually in the house when we moved in, but I never really loved it because it was so dark. It was literally the same color as the floor. So I went ahead and just painted it up, distressed it a little bit, and I think it looks awesome now. Now as far as the kitchen goes, we did go ahead and add a breakfast table. I found this table off of Facebook Marketplace. It was a really good deal. And originally I had some darker metal chairs here, but I ended up taking them back to Target and I purchased the white chairs instead. And I really think that that helps make it look light and bright in here, which is definitely my goal. If you haven't seen what the kitchen looked like before, I'll go ahead and pop in some footage here or maybe a picture, whatever I can find. The cabinets used to be really short and really dark, so I am loving these new cabinets. So I wanted to go ahead and show you my favorite part of the new kitchen, and that's definitely the height of the taller cabinets. They can store so much now, but they're so tall that they actually need a step stool to get all the way to the top. So I'll go ahead and show you some of my favorite cabinets. This first one is dedicated to Disney. Now, as you can see, I have a lot of Disney cups in here. On the very top, I have cups I don't use super often. These are my collectible travel mugs. On the next section, I have all of my Disney Starbucks mugs. On my next shelf, I have some of my favorite blue mason jars. Of course, those are Pioneer Woman brand, love her. And then on the very bottom, I have items that we use all the time. In this cute little cup right here, I keep all of our reusable straws. This is another cup that I use when I go to the parks quite often. And then over here we have all of the water bottles that the kids take to the parks. It's very important to stay hydrated at Disney, it is at Disney World because it is so hot. So we use these quite a lot. Over here I have another water jug. We just fill this up with extra water and bring it with us to the park. And then over here I have my cup that I like to bring to the parks. I fill it with ice and then I bring my own cans of whatever and just fill it up as I need it. And then I also have the Mickey hook and we actually put the water bottles on the hook and then we hang it on the stroller when we're in the park. Definitely one of my favorite cabinets. Next, we have the cooking gadget cabinet. Now, I make a lot of cooking videos, as you guys probably know, so I have a lot of gadgets for that. But then I also have gadgets and tools for just everyday cooking. On this bottom shelf, I have all of my measuring things, bowls and ramekins, scoops, everything you need for measuring lots of spoons. On this next shelf, I have all of my colanders, small, medium, and large, as well as several mixing bowls. And then finally, at the top, items I don't use quite as often are way up there. Choppers, slicers, and an assortment of funnels. In this next cabinet is where I keep all of my dishes that I use for my cooking videos. So bowls, cups, plates. These aren't very fancy, but I do have a separate set just for cooking videos. In this cabinet here is where we keep all of the kids' cups, plates, and bowls. And I did go ahead and put that right above the dishwasher so that when my kids help to empty the dishwasher, they can put things away easily. And then in the cabinet next to it is where I keep my everyday dishes. So there's lots of plates, bowls, cups. These are all just Corel, plain white, because that's what I like. Now right now we're actually still working on bathrooms. This one is almost done. I'll go ahead and insert what it used to look like. It was way, way different. We changed out the light fixture. We changed out the mirror. We changed the countertop. This is the exact same countertop changed that's in. The yeah, we did change a little rug. My husband painted the um, cabinetry so it's nice and clean looking. We tried to copy the look we had in the kitchen. Same color cabinet, same countertop, and I really like it a lot better. Out of every room in the house, which room is your favorite? Definitely the girls' room. You guys, let us know in the comments down below out of all of the rooms we showed you today, which one is your favorite? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button, and we will see you next time. Bye!